Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at 6. With more snow and the sun setting earlier, drivers are getting more frustrated with ongoing road construction. We found this Eagle Run post on Facebook receiving many comments from drivers worried about a dangerous intersection at 32nd Avenue and Cheyenne Street. Valley News Team's Rose Itzkovitz explains. Then you'll start seeing some, some signs up here. Like there's one on the left saying left lane must turn left. Then up here you see right lane must turn right. Driving westbound on 32nd Avenue toward Cheyenne Street, two lanes are now open. But once you hit the traffic light, it appears to bottleneck into one lane. You, you come forward, you'll, you'll see the, the orange barrels right in front of you, which you no know, surely indicates that the lane's closed. There's just a lot of confusion on it. Drivers in the Eagle Run area are complaining about the confusion. This post on Facebook voicing concern about potential accidents. The author of the post saying temporary signs say right lane must turn right, contradicting permanent road marks. But West Fargo Public Works Director Chris Brungart says people should pay attention to those early signs before the traffic light. So we're telling people we're coming into a construction zone. Then we have the speed limit 25. That's just the construction speed limit. If you're actually traveling the speed limit here, these signs are fairly close to the intersection. As the concerned driver from the Facebook post says, those who miss the early signs almost run her off the road. And, quote, then they honk at me and flip me the bird like I am doing something wrong. More than 20 comments from fellow drivers share her frustration. But Brungart says the city can't just change the permanent road markings for a little bit of time. Everything we do with the city is trying to find ways to reduce uh, construction costs and keep, keep the price of all our construction projects low. Another gripe from the Facebook post, the early winter combined with the late construction season. But Brungart says so far we're only four days past schedule. Our winter suspension date was November 15th. He asks for driver's patience as the project should be finished no later than this Friday. In West Fargo, Roseskowitz, Valley News Live. The city says it hopes to be done with the construction by this Wednesday, but if weather stalls them, Friday is the latest they hope to be working on it. A 24-year-old Fargo man has been charged with manslaughter in the death of a six-month-old child in northwest North Dakota. The police chief in Stanley says the child died last Friday and authorities arrested Cody Faltersack. An autopsy is being done to determine how the child died. Faltersack remains in custody. The charge carries a maximum sentence of 10 years in prison. Getting to warmer temps later this week required getting through today's chilly weather. Let's find out where we are at right now. Hutch joins us for a first look at the weather planner. Hutch? Well, temperatures are in the single digits and some below zero already in Langdon. Six below. It's bitter cold out there with clear skies across the valley. We're going to see temperatures slip early evening into the early overnight. But the clouds you see out to the west are heading our way. And after about midnight to 1 o'clock, we should start see temperatures bumping up a bit, but it will be wind chilly with a chance of some light flakes of snow as we begin our warm-up on Tuesday. South winds ushering in warmer temperatures. I'll have details on that. We'll talk about what you can expect for the Holiday of Lights Parade and Thanksgiving travel ahead in a few minutes. All right, thanks, Such. Bemidji police are asking for your help in identifying this person. They say she's a person of interest in an ongoing investigation. If you know who she is, call 218-556-2973 and leave your tip with Officer Otnes. A family living in West Fargo wants to know who the man is seen taking a package from their front doorstep. Take a look at this. The family's ring doorbell camera caught the person stealing the package, looking around and then taking off. A Valley News Live viewer says the package had the family's Christmas pictures inside. This all happened sometime last week in a neighborhood south of Costco. If you know who this guy is, you can call the West Fargo Police Department. The family thinks he drove away in a silver or blue Pontiac Torrent SUV. Two men had to be rescued from the North Red Lake yesterday after officers say they were stranded on a block of ice while fishing. North Red Lake is about 35 miles north of Bemidji. Officers say the men were stranded on the ice that separated from the shoreline. Search and rescue crews had to help the men after midnight last night. They were treated for hypothermia. 
Three people are dead after a Bismarck Air medical plane crashed overnight. Law enforcement say the flight was leaving from Bismarck to Williston after 10. Deputies say they had no response from the flight around 11 o'clock. The three people on board were first responders on their way to pick up a patient. Killed was the pilot, a paramedic, and a nurse. One investigator said that he had never seen a plane crash with this kind of debris field before. Daniela Hurtado reports. What you just heard was Bismarck Air Traffic Control trying to contact a Bismarck Air medical flight that crashed Sunday night, killing three people. The Morton County Sheriff's Department says they last heard from the people on the plane around 11 p.m. Deputies didn't find the site of the crash northwest of Mandan until after 1 a.m. Sheriff Kyle Kirkmeyer says with the help of Civil Air Patrol and an Air Force rescue team in Florida, they were able to find where the plane went. What they did is they have the ability to be able to uh, uh, analyze the radar tracks and uh, uh, to be able to uh, further pinpoint these locations of, uh, of these type of incidents. And then uh, we also used uh, the cell phone uh, forensics to... Uh, ping cell phones. Many responders across the state are extending their condolences for the first responders lost. It affects all of us in, in one way or another and uh, we're just uh, you know so we we keep pressing on and, uh, and, and do what we do to, to help where we can. The National Transport Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration are investigating this incident. <clears throat> The cause of the crash is still unknown. Kirkmeyer says this is going to take a little more time than usual to figure out the cause of the crash because of the large debris field. The numbers are in on North Dakota's early voters during the November midterm election. Secretary of State Al Jager says more than 157,000 people cast ballots prior to Election Day. That's about 48 percent of voters. Jager says a total of 330,598 votes were cast. That's 57 percent of eligible voters. And that makes it the highest turnout for a midterm election since 1986, where that election saw 64 percent voter turnout. The Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over campaign in North Dakota in October nabbed more than 130 drivers for violations. Law enforcement agencies across the state added extra patrols enforcing the law against underage drinking, as well as conducting compliance checks and shoulder taps as part of the campaign. A total of 137 tickets were written, including 32 for minor in possession, 28 minor in consumption, 18 for speeding, 18 were drug-related and five for driving under the influence arrests. The FDA is warning and reminding parents not to give their infants honey after four babies in Texas were hospitalized for a rare and dangerous poisoning. The infants contracted botulism after they used honey pacifiers. And with cold and flu season already present in the valley, some people might turn to honey to soothe their baby's coughs and sore throats. But one Sanford doctor urges you not to give your little honey any honey. When people get Botox, you're taking the toxin that's from botulism and you're injecting it into specific areas so that their muscles don't move, so they don't get wrinkles. If an infant ingests botulism spores, so they essentially can get this botulism toxin everywhere. So instead of one or two little muscles that don't move, all their muscles stop working. Dr. Forward says without those muscles working, your baby will have a hard time eating, breathing, and moving. He says the poisoning could be fatal and to keep your young ones away from honey-flavored items as well. A new health report shows 21% of students in North Dakota schools use e-cigs, also known as vaping. The National Youth Tobacco Survey says uh, the number of high school aged children using vaping products rose by more than 75% from 2017 to 2018. It suggested that parents and other adults play a key role in reducing the likelihood of a young person using e-cigs. Parents should talk openly with their teens about the dangers of nicotine and set a positive example by being tobacco free. How well do you take care of your animals? Later on Valley News Live at 6, the essential oils that could harm your pet and the ones that could help them. Up next, good news when it comes to the cost of your Thanksgiving meal. You're watching Valley News Live on TV, online, and on the go. Always on, wherever you are, whenever you need to know. Valley News Live. You're watching Valley News Live on KVLY, your hometown NBC station. 
Waterproof flooring has never looked so good. The Carpet Garage brings you Cortec Plus, the next revolution in luxury vinyl flooring. The innovative waterproof construction is stable. It won't expand, contract, or swell when exposed to water. The attached cork underlayment makes it a quieter, warmer floor that naturally resists odor-causing mold and mildew. And the wide variety of wood, stone, and slate patterns means Cortec Plus has the look for any style and unmatched performance for any room. Cortec Plus, in stock and unbeatably priced at the Carpet Garage. Whether it's helping our members navigate their benefits or running around Minot to deliver Meals on Wheels, keeping North Dakota well means knowing North Dakota well. And nobody knows it better than Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Dakota account executive Derek Van Dyke. His work with area senior citizens, like George here, doesn't just feel good. It gives him perspective he can use to give direction to members. Get help with your individual or family coverage at bcbsndplans.com. Great prices and great values, that's what you'll find at CashWise. We buy by the truckload so you can save by the cartload. Right now, get your Jenny O Grade A Frozen Turkey for Thanksgiving at CashWise for just 37 cents a pound. With $30 purchase, limit one. Happy Thanksgiving from CashWise. Fresh always tastes better when it costs less. More than a great deal, and that's CashWise Foods. I recommend my Tempur-Pedic to everybody. The most highly recommended bed in America just got better. Introducing the reinvented Tempur-Pedic. Designed with the most pressure-relieving material we've ever created, it adapts and responds to your body's unique needs for your most rejuvenating sleep. Now at Slumberland, get up to $500 off select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets. Pay no interest for five years and get $300 in bonus cash on qualifying mattresses. Slumberland, it's a good life. Donate to the emergency room patient supply closet at Essentia Health today. Low food prices have driven the cost of a Thanksgiving feast down to its lowest level since 2010. The American Farm Bureau Federation says the average nationwide cost of a holiday meal for 10 people is about 50 bucks or less than $5 per person, which is a 22 cent decrease from last year's average. A Farm Bureau chief economist says an ample turkey supply is a big reason. Retail turkey prices are at their lowest since 2014, coming in at $21.71 for a 20-pound bird or roughly $1.36 per pound. Milk, fresh uh, sweet potato, canned green peas, and dinner roll prices are also down. The survey is based on a standardized menu. It also found that modest price increases for fresh cranberries and canned pumpkin pie mix and stuffing. We have another ground beef recall to pass along. JBS USA has recalled nearly 100,000 pounds of ground beef over possible E. coli contamination. Now the products have an establishment number of 628 and were produced on October 24th. The problem was discovered last Thursday after a sample tested positive for the bacteria. We can tell you this, no illnesses have been reported. Symptoms of an E. coli infection include nausea, diarrhea, stomach cramps, and vomiting. Later on Valley News Live at 6, two Dakota turkeys are living life to the fullest in Washington, D.C. They have an important appointment coming up. Mighty chilly temperatures as we head into our evening here across the valley after crystal clear skies closed our day. It looks like some warmer air out to the west is going to begin pushing our way, but it comes with some growing pains. I'll have those details in your forecast right after this.